Hi guys, welcome to the video today. Um, it's just an update on the Witcher statue, the last video that I posted, uh, the Dark Horse Direct statue. Uh, when I received it originally, this piece here, when I took it out of the box, was damaged. Now I did do kind of a, I don't know if you see it on the camera, but I did do a bodge job repair. It's not pretty, it's the things I was gonna paint it at some point, but Dark Horse Direct were nice enough to offer me uh, they give me a few options, they said I could have done a full refund if I wanted to and ship it back to them and things like that but I didn't see the point just for a, a little simple thing like that. Uh, they offered me a partial refund which was fair enough but I said no and then they said uh, they'd happily send it, it, I'd have to wait but they were sending me out a replacement sword. So it's been about two-ish months uh, but they had to go back to the manufacturers that we got them made and got them to make up some replacement parts and things for I guess other people might have had damages and things. Uh, mine was shipped from the US uh, to the UK. So I'll be careful opening this up now. Yeah. Uh, they shipped it for free. I didn't have to pay anything to get this. They sent me it absolutely free. So you use a better knife, maybe. streaming more stuff and posting more videos and unboxing stuff in the future. There you go, it's in one piece, nice. Gingerly get it out this time. So there you go. Nice fresh piece, nicely painted. I'll bring up a comparison. That's the one that this part of the hilt fell off. And as you can see, it looks much nicer now. Same castings, both painted, look like hand painting, so that's nice. Yeah, make sure I've put the right one back on. So this just clicks in here. There you go. Now, only a small thing, uh, it weren't the end of the world. I was happy enough with the repair, but it was when there was nice enough to offer me the option of actually shipping me a whole of a sword out, which was nice. Um, so this is the finished product, this is the Witcher 3 Gerald and Roach statue. I think this is somewhere around from base to top, uh, somewhere around 13 inches just as a comparison. These are also Dark Horse Direct, don't know if you see the logo there, but these are Dark Horse Direct figures. These are the 9 inch figures that you can also get, they've done I think 2, maybe 3 series of those so far. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it all done and dusted about 2 months after the original purchase. I thought just as a little thing at the end as well, keep it Witcher themed, I'd then show off this little piece that I picked up recently. This is the Witcher 3 sword. I think it's based more from the TV series than the actual uh, video game, but it's got the, I think, Polish runes along here. And it's Damascus steel. So you can see the folds in the middle there, as well as the Polish runes, I believe, there and there. It is sharp, it is actually razor sharp, is the blade. Really nice finish on the Damascus steel. You see it in the light. Really nice, nice heavy land handle. And top of it there, on the pommel, you've got the two wolf heads. Uh, I picked that up from a company called Raven Forge. I'll post a link in the uh, video below in the comments and uh, the information and you can check them out. They do loads of really nice replicas and actually hand forged swords as well. It's not all just things from TV shows and things. Um, so yeah, there'll be more stuff coming soon. More Witcher stuff, other video game stuff in the future guys. Thanks for checking out the video and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.